Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the world event. A high level team, a mid slash low, and then a skull team. I really don't recommend the skull team, and this first team is the one I recommend. But if you don't have some of these troops, you can use the mid slash low to get through the event. Um, it was a Blackhawk restriction, I think. Even the weapons were restricted. So... Yeah, let's go. This first one here is the Captain's Cutlass, um, Captain Saltclaw, Captain Saltclaw, and uh, Captain McCall. So Captain McCall will start your rogues with 50% mana. That's why he is there, to get everything started. Everybody started with 50% mana. Um, Captain Saltclaw does like heavy splash damage to two random enemies, I think. Um, and he usually will take out all four of them. So he's working pretty good. Just get him up, cast him, and win a lot of the times in the early battles. And then later on, you might need both of them. But yeah, sometimes he'll just hit all four and win. And that's what we're looking for. And that's what he does. Uh, the Captain's Cutlass makes, I think, blue and red. I think both weapons that you can even use from this uh, restriction make the same. So if you have the, uh, the ring instead... The ring is okay. Same thing, pretty much. They're, they're exactly the same thing. One does based on rogues, and one does based on Blackhawk allies, and our whole team is Blackhawk rogues. So you can do either or. So if you happen to have the uh, Pirate Signet, I think it's called, you could do that too. So you're looking for that. If you have it, cast it. You're trying to get up the uh, Captain Salt Claws by matching a bunch of red, and then cast the Captain Salt Claws. They'll hit all four enemies. You should win. We got a skull and spell uh, metal. So you want to go down the spell route definitely this time because there's not very many skull troops. And I don't recommend my skull team. So yeah, go with this. Captain Mc uh, Captain uh, Cutlass, double Captain Salt Claw with Captain McCall. So the captain team. Alright, here's the mid-level team. If you don't have Captain Salt Claw, you're probably going to have to do something like this. Um, we got the... Uh, Bronze Lock Pistol, which you should have. That's a very low-level weapon. If you're doing events, if you're in a good guild that makes you do events, if you're going far in the world event, you probably have the Bronze Lock Pistol, uh, which is just, I think, a mastery weapon, blue and brown. So you should have it. Um, if you don't, though, you could go get one of those other weapons, even though they don't do the right colors for this team. I don't know what you're going to do, but hopefully you have the Bronze Lock Pistol. Um, so Bronze Lock Pistol, Shocktopus, Shocktopus, and Scurvy Sea Dog. So Scurvy, Scurvy Sea Dog uh, starts empowered, turns green to blue. So if you have that, you want to cast it uh, early to get up your Bronze Lock Pistol. Your Bronze Lock Pistol will destroy a certain amount of gems, um, which hopefully gets up your Shocktopuses. And then you cast the Shocktopus. You look for a color, the enemy's colors and a lot of the time like two or three of them will have the same color and that's what color you choose with the, the shock to push. and then you do true damage to all those troops like if you look at this team over here they have three green troops they have two blue troops you cast on green or blue and uh or they have two blue and two green or three green and two blue so you could have cast it on green or blue and killed a, a multiple enemies with the shock to push. finish them off with the bronze lock pistol or the other shock to push. It's pretty decent. It's almost as good as the first team because Shocktopus hits multiple enemies with true damage. If the whole enemy team uses the same color and you get lucky, you could kill them all in one shot. But that's why we got two of them, plus the Bronze Lock Pistol also does enough damage to kill something. So if you got to clean up, the Bronze Lock Pistol will clean something up. So early battles, make sure... If you're casting the Bronze Lock Pistol first, choose a troop that's off color. You know what I'm saying? So if there's three troops of the same color, choose the other troop to kill with the Bronze Lock Pistol. That way you have the Shocktopus to then cast on those three troops of the same color. So if you, hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. All right, here's the last team. It's the Skull Team. It's not very good. I would not recommend it. It was the only thing I could come up with. We have a Skull and Spell Metal, and I know you guys like Skull Teams, so I decided to try to make one. I've been doing that recently. Um, but this one I wouldn't really recommend. There wasn't very many Skull options for this restriction. Um, it was very... There's like one troop that makes Skulls, and then Scylla who makes a Bone Storm. And then your weapon, you have to use Bronze Lock Pistol because there's like nothing else. It's the only thing that will destroy any kind of gems and get the mana flowing. So Bronze Lock Pistol, 
uh, what's his name? Lil Johnny Bronze. And then uh, Scylla at the bottom. So Bronze Lock Pistol, Lil Johnny, Lil Johnny, Scylla was the only thing I could come up with for Skulls. So you're going to get up the Bronze Lock Pistol, cast it, kill something hopefully, and then you got hopefully the the little johnnies up you cast those they make eight skulls which isn't very much is gonna backfire and uh just wouldn't recommend it really but if you really 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 want to force that skull team this is about as good as it's gonna get uh Scylla with her bone storm you can also cast uh Scylla. this is kind of a skull and spell team bronze lock pistol will kill something Scylla can kill something and then little johnny bronze can finish them off with some skulls um yeah just take skulls whenever you have them and stuff like that I used, um, what class did I use? I went with Plague Lord because it has a Doomstorm. More skulls, 50% start, stuff like that. You'll see it on the team code. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot to hear. Good about the channel, comment below. Chat-a-thon this weekend. Be there or be square. Peace.